Thank you so much, Endu. Okay. And Carolina has a question, if she may. Yes. Hello, Endu. How are you? Hello, Carolina. I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Yes. Um, I've been wanting to connect with my daughters, um, but I don't know whether they're around me uh, sometimes, and if they are, um, I don't know what signs or sometimes I hear things, but I don't know whether it's them or, or someone else. Um, Is this your hybrid daughters? Yes. Yes, yeah, so are they part of the near colony? Uh, one is Pleiadian, I think she's in Era, and the other one is Syrian. Ah. Yes, yeah, so what would you like to know about them? Uh, well, uh, how they are, what they look like, what they like doing, but um, I, I want to connect with them and I, I want to know what, mm. how do I know I'm connected with them, basically. What are their names, please? Kali and Alaha. Hmm. Yes, they are doing wonderfully. All the children are doing wonderfully. The colonies are working beautifully. Yes, they have reached out to you. So yes, I I would say to you it's likely that this has happened simultaneously and that you have experienced it as they have. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes, please please interact with them more. Please also make the effort to interact with their parents. You are a hybrid parent, yes. You are held in high esteem, but please know these children are reared by the aliens of the chosen hybridized being. So there are parents, alien parents, who are rearing your children. It's very important that the humans understand that they have every right to interact with the alien parents and at times it becomes imperative. It becomes something that absolutely needs to happen because of the hybridization. It's unpredictable in most cases how these children are going to grow, what behaviors they're going to show. They will manage them, of course, but when they present, they don't always understand what it is. Let's, let's use the idea of a human trait, of a child who refuses to eat a certain kind of food. All the other children will eat it, but this particular one won't. Nobody knows what to do in these situations, but the earth parents would know. So I encourage always the parents or parent of any hybridized children, please reach out to the parents of your children. They are doing a wonderful job on your behalf and they include you and you will feel at times that they will reach out to you. It's them that will reach out to you and ask you, what do we do? This is happening, what do we do? So please, yes, appreciate that. And use your tele telepathic abilities and your psychic abilities. The, all the ideas that you have, things that you filter in through in your days. If you're presented with something that appears to be a question about a juvenile, then please, Understand, learn to recognize these. They're messages from the parents of the hybridized children reaching out to you. Now they're going to reach out to you the best way that they can and Spirit is going to work to you, with you on that in the best way that they can. So you'll have two dimensions reaching out to you. So I'm asking you, please be open to it and also please be proactive. Be proactive. Offer to be a support. Let them know you understand. Let them know that you care. This is why you get to name your hybridized children. It's an honor. And it's an honor to be the parents of one. But you are always taken into account in the imperative decisions that are made about your hybridized children. One thing I would also suggest, and this has been spoken about often, but I will repeat it. One moment. 
Yes. Yes. One of the things we would ask, I just spoke with Takua, we would ask that you be proactive in the idea with delivering affection. The aliens that are bringing up your children, they are not all living within the spectrum of emotion that humans do. Okay? That's the difference. That's the difference between the dimensions. This is one reason why three dimension Earth humans are so fascinating. Because you have this spectrum of emotion which vibrates at incredible rates. Your frequencies, they shift, they change. This happens also with your hybrid children. So please ask the parents to be affectionate affectionate. You will have to define what affection is. Yes. Please do that. Define what affection is precisely. If you're talking to parents of your hybridized children, please say, would you please hug my child? This means, would you please sit my child on your knee and hold it close? It is those simple things. And it's very difficult for the human parent to possibly know that this is going on. But this is what Takura is telling me. Ask for affection for your children. It will be given. It will be done. If you have any kind of belief system, something you would like to share with your hybridized children, perhaps an interest of your own that you would like to share with them and see if it's an interest of theirs, proceed with these ideas. Proceed with the communications. They will do their very best to reply. But please know they have heard you and they will act. Does that answer your question? Thank you, Andrew. And uh, how, how do I, I'd love to, um, to help. Uh, um, and, uh, and they're very welcome to come, the parents and my daughters, they're very welcome to come and see me. But how do I reach out? How do I communicate? Mm -hmm. It is a telepathic experience. You could do it two ways. It's very effective to do it as you go into your dream time at night. If you're thinking about your child, your children or child, whatever it may be, let's go back to the fantasy idea. Let's go back to the daydreaming, the night dreaming. As you go into slumber, you consciously can reach out. Now, the way to reach out is telepathically or you may speak it. Whatever feels more affirming for you. Now the message, where it goes, it is defined by your intention. Do not be concerned about that. State the intention. You want to communicate with the parents of your hybridized children. Yes, straight away. Bing. It happens. Sometimes you will receive an answer. It could come, as I said, in any way, shape or form. And that will be lovely because it will be an affirmation. But as I say, if you start out with that intention and you have good intention, of course you do. You love these children and so do these parents. Work as a team, please. You are important to them. You are more than just a donor of DNA. Thank you so much. Please send them my love. Okay, Will. Greetings, Andu. How are you today? Well, thank you, Will. How are you? I am awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't even need to ask that question. <laughs> yeah, you can feel me. I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So I want to thank you for talking about the hybrid children today because it's a topic that's uh, near and dear to my heart. Um, and I would like to add to some of the things that you've been talking about that I totally agree that this is more than a DNA exchange or a DNA donation. It's a cultural exchange is what it is. Mm -hmm. It's we as humans get a chance to teach the rest of the universe how we raise our children and, and influence those 
hybrid children that we had, and not only our hybrid children, but the hybrid other people's hybrid children, and helping the parents of our our galactic families learn exactly how we parent. Sometimes we parent correctly, sometimes we don't parent correctly, but that's all part of the learning curve. So to those of you who have hybrid children, yes, teach them how you love your children. Teach them how you love your hybrid children. Talk to them. Talk to all the other kids. If you want to hold a story time, hold a story time. Whatever it is, you're showing people how you love. That's lovely, Will. That's perfect. Thank you so much for that elaboration. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity to, for doing so. <laughs> it was timely, Will. You always are. <laughs> well, I love you, Andrew. Thank you so love much. Love you too, my friend. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Okay, Andrew, can we check with Kim and see if she needs anything to drink? <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> yes, thank you. One moment. Okay, I just want to say, Andrew, you've been so helpful today. It seems we have no more questions for you at the moment. Mm -hmm. So can we please bring back Kim? Certainly. There is another that is waiting to come through if you would like. Yes, please. Um, Thank you. I will bring him back. Hmm. Welcome Hello. back, Kim. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I feel good. Oh, wonderful. yeah. 